Good morning children. Earth is the planet on which we all live. But do we have the same climatic condition across all parts of the earth? No. There are some places which are throughout covered with snow. Some are extremely hot. There are some places which receive a lot of rainfall. So children, different places have different climatic conditions. And so, the houses which are built in these regions depend on these climatic conditions and the resources which are available in those regions. So children, today we are going to read and understand chapter 7, Types of Houses. In this chapter, we all will learn about different types of houses which are built in different regions. So children, let's start. Just as food and clothes, shelter is also one of our basic facilities. A shelter protects us from extreme weather like heat, cold and rain. It is a place to keep our possessions safely from thieves and robbers. A house keeps us comfortable. So children, a house is a place which keeps us safe from harsh weather conditions, wild animals and thieves. Children, let's move on to the next paragraph. Even animals have been provided certain provisions by nature to keep them safe, like a tiger and zebra have stripes, polar bears have thick fur to save them from cold conditions, etc. So children, as human beings make houses to protect themselves, similarly nature has provided certain provisions to animals also for their survival. For example, the stripes of a tiger helps it to disguise itself as per the surrounding to hunt its prey. The stripes of zebra helps it to get camouflaged in the tall grasses to get protected from the lion. The white color of the polar bear helps it to camouflage from its prey on snow and ice. Also, its thick layers of fat and fur insulate its body against the cold. Children, can you name an animal which changes the color of its fur? In spring and summer, it has a dark coat, while in winters, its coat turns white to match the surrounding of the snow. Children, you have to guess the animal. Let's move on. Building a house mainly depends on three factors. Weather conditions in the area, the material available, economic conditions. Different types of houses are built in different places and regions. So children, the type of house one builds depend upon A. Weather condition. If the weather in that particular region is hot, cold, rainy or moderate. So that will affect the kind of house which is built in that particular area. Second is materials available like the kind of stones which are available in that region, the timber, the kind of tree which are available in that region. Third, economic condition means how much money a person can spend on the construction of the house. Now let's study about different types of houses which are constructed in different type of regions. First is houses in cold region. The cold region of Arctic is completely covered with snow throughout the year. So, the people living there have found a way to use slabs of ice to build special houses. These houses are dome-shaped and called igloos. The people there are called Eskimos or Inuits. Children, Arctic is the polar region located in the northernmost part of the earth. It consists of parts of Canada, Greenland, Finland, Iceland, Norway, Russia, Sweden and Alaska which is a part of United States. The Arctic Ocean lies between these lands. Now since this part of the earth is covered with ice throughout the year, people residing in these areas built igloos which is also referred as snow house to keep themselves safe from the harsh weather conditions of this region and wild animals like polar bear. Let's move on to wooden houses. In the cold but forest regions of America, people build wooden houses or log cabins. They use wood because there is plenty of wood available in the forest. Also, wood is a good insulator and keeps the cold out. So children, in the cold and forested region of America, people build wooden houses or log cabins as wood is available in plenty and acts as a good insulator. Children, wood is a good insulator means it helps to keep the house cool in the summer and warm in the winter. Children, can you name a few places in India where we find lots of wooden houses? Let's move on to houses in hot and dry regions. In hot and dry areas, houses are built with flat roofs having mud walls. 
These walls keep the house cool and roofs can be used to sleep at night. We find mud houses in Mexico. The Egyptians were the first to build mud houses. They painted their house white to reflect the heat of the sun. So children, in hot and dry regions of Mexico, people used to build houses made up of mud along with other materials like straw, sticks, etc. Mud having the cooling effect keeps the house cool in hot climatic conditions. The people in Mexico also painted the outer walls of the houses with white color as this color does not absorb any heat radiation from the sun and so helps in keeping the house cool from inside. Now children, let's address the next topic which is houses in areas with heavy rainfall. In places where rainfall occurs almost throughout the year, raised houses are built on stilts. The stilts are wooden poles that provide support to the house and protect it from floods due to heavy rainfall. Such houses are found in the eastern region of India. So children, stilt houses are houses which are raised on stilts over the surface of soil or a body of water. Children's stilts are basically wooden poles. Stilt houses are made primarily as a protection against flooding in the regions which receive a lot of rainfall. Turning to the next topic, different types of houses. Building a house depends on the availability of space and funds. Some examples. Now children, we are going to study about different types of houses which are built depending upon the money which we want to spend on its construction and the space which is available for constructing it. For example, first is temporary houses. These can be built for vacations. Sometimes they are built because of the climatic condition of a region. For example, along the coastal areas, temporary houses are often built using wood or coconut leaves by the fishermen. Children, usually people visit coastal areas for vacations and camping. The local fishermen make temporary houses for tourists using wood and coconut leaves which are available in abundance in the surrounding areas and so constructing these temporary houses is cost effective as well. Let's move on to tent. Tents are used by people who want to go camping on holidays. They are made of waterproof materials like canvas cloth or nylon. So children, tent is a portable and lightweight shelter which is commonly used during outdoor recreational activities such as camping, hiking, etc. These tents are made of waterproof materials like canvas cloth or nylon and so it can protect us from rain, wind and cold climate. Let's move on to caravans. Caravans are houses on wheels. Earlier they were pulled by a horse or bullock but nowadays they are pulled by cars or trucks. So children, caravans are houses on wheels. In olden days, these caravans were pulled by animals like horses or bullocks. But nowadays, due to advancement in technology, we have high-tech caravans which are pulled by cars or trucks. People who keep on moving from one place to another, they prefer to live in caravans. Next is houseboats. Houseboats are floating houses, that is houses on water bodies like lakes. They are generally found in Kashmir, Kerala and also in Hong Kong, Holland, etc. So children, a houseboat is a combination of a boat and a house and so they are also known as floating houses. We usually find them in places with lakes. For example, in India, several houseboats can be found floating on Dal Lake and the backwaters of Kerala. These houseboats are specifically designed using foot, koi ropes, bamboo poles and mats, carpets, etc. Now children, let's move on to modern houses. Modern houses are built of bricks, cement, stones, iron, wood, etc. They may be big or small, simple or multi-storied. In cities, we find people living mostly in two or three bedroom flats or apartments. Cities also have houses called bungalows. Bungalows are big houses with lawns and parking space. They are usually expensive. So children, with the advancement in technology, these days modern houses are built using bricks, cement, stones, iron, wood, glass, etc. They are long-lasting and weatherproof. They don't require frequent maintenance. These modern houses are either in the form of high-rise towers having two or three bedroom flats or bungalows with lawns and parking spaces. They have all the provisions of an ideal house like ventilation, sanitation, 
plenty of doors and windows to allow enough sunlight and fresh air inside. So children, in this way we learnt about different types of houses built in different regions of the world depending upon the climatic conditions, availability of material at the place and economic condition of the person who is getting the house built. Now before we move on to the book exercises, I request all my students to subscribe the channel and press the bell icon to get the notifications of the upcoming tutorials. Children, let's move on to the book exercises. Question number A. Take the correct answer. Now children, here for each question, four options are given and we have to tick the correct answer and write the same in the given blank. Question number 1. People build houses according to the dash of the region. Climate, population, pollution, language. Children, population, pollution and language has no effect on the kind of house which is being built. So it is the climate, whether the climate is hot, cold, rainy. So based on the climatic condition, the design and the material required to build the house is chosen. Question number 2. Modern day tents are made of dash, canvas, nylon, poles and ropes, all of these. So children here we will take the option number D, all of these. Third, the roof of the houses made in the plains are high, low, flat, sloping. So children here we will take the option number C, flat. The roof of the houses made in the plains are flat. Fourth, a floating house is called a dash. Tipis, caravan, houseboat, igloo. So here also we will take the option number C, houseboat. A floating house is called a houseboat. Fifth, igloos are made of slabs of dash, snow, mud, grass, cement. So children, as we all know, igloos are made of slabs of snow. So we will take option number A. Let's move on to question number B. Fill in the blanks. First, Houses on the plains have dash. So houses on the plains have flat roofs. Second, dash are the native people of Arctic region. So Inuits are the native people of the Arctic region. Third, dash were the first to make mud houses. So we all know Egyptians were the first to make mud houses. Question number C, match the following. So children, in this question different types of houses are given on the left hand side and the places where these types of houses are found are given on the right hand side. We have to match them appropriately. First is igloos. We find igloos in Arctic region. Second is houseboat. Houseboats are found in Kashmir. Third is skyscrapers. Skyscrapers are generally found in big cities. Fourth, stilt houses. Stilt houses are generally found in Meghalaya. Because this state receives plentiful rainfall due to which there are chances of flood. So in order to avoid flooding of the houses, they are built on stills and above the ground level. Fifth, wooden houses. Wooden houses are found in Japan. Children in Japan, mostly wooden houses are built because of two reasons. First is wood is available in abundance. And second, in Japan, earthquakes are very frequent. Houses made of wood can be easily rebuilt and they are very cost effective. Question number D. Identify the types of house given below. Also write the materials used in building them. So children, Below are some images of different types of houses. We have to identify their type and write the building materials which are required for building them. First is the image of a tent. And we all know to make a tent we require waterproof materials like canvas and nylon. Other than these, we also require poles to give it a structure. Second is the image of a stilt house. And to make a stilt house, we require wood and stilts. Let's move on to the next page. The third image is the image of a skyscraper and to make a skyscraper we require bricks, cement, iron. There are many other things which you can write. Fourth image is of a caravan and to make a caravan we require truck or car. Question number E. Write short answers to the following questions. Question number one. Why do houses in hilly areas have sloping roofs? Answer. Houses in hilly areas have sloping roofs so that the rain water and snow can easily slide down without damaging the wooden roof. Question number 2. Why are the houses in deserts painted white? Answer. The houses in deserts are painted white to reflect the heat of the sun, which eventually keeps the house cool in summer. Children, light color reflects the heat of the sun, whereas the dark color, brown, black, all these colors absorbs the heat of the sun. 
So that is why these houses are painted with white color. Question number three. Why are caravans called houses on wheels? Answer. Caravans are mobile houses which can be moved from one place to another as they can be pulled by cars or trucks and so they are called as houses on wheels. Let's move on to question number F. Write detailed answers to the following questions. Question number 1. Which factors determine the type of house we built? Answer. The factors which determine the type of house we built are A. Climatic conditions of the region, whether the place is hot, cold or receives a lot of rainfall. B. Raw materials available like stones, timbers, etc. C. Economic condition of the person, like how much a person can spend on the construction of the house. Question number 2. Why do people in some places live in houseboats? Answer. Houseboats are floating houses on water bodies like lakes. People in some places prefer to live in houseboats because it is movable and it's cheaper than buying or constructing a house. Question number 3. Name the different types of houses and the region they are found in. Answer. Different types of houses and the region they are found in are as follows. A. Igloos. Igloos are found in the Arctic region. B. Wooden houses. Wooden houses are mostly found in cold and forested regions. C. Mud houses. Mud houses are found in hot and dry regions like Mexico. D. Stilt houses. Stilt houses are mostly found in regions with heavy rain and frequent floods like Meghalaya in India. E. Skyscrapers and bungalows. Skyscrapers and bungalows are mostly found in big cities. Children, there are some houses which fall under the category of special houses. So let's include them. F. Houseboats. Houseboats are found in regions with large water bodies like Kashmir in India. G. Tents. Tents are used for holiday camping. H. Caravans. Caravans are houses on wheels. People who move from one place to another live in caravans. Next is Hots. Houses in Japan are made of wood. Why? Discuss. Children, Japan is an earthquake prone country. During such calamities, people suffer from a lot of damages in terms of their houses and other belongings. So, over a period of time, people living in this region have devised ways and means to reduce the loss caused by such natural calamities which are not in anyone's control. Constructing houses again and again from bricks and cement is extremely expensive. So, as the wood is available in abundance, people in this region prefer to make wooden houses as constructing them is cost effective and if damaged, they can be rebuilt again. Let's move on to life skills. To meet the increasing demand of houses, man has been ruthlessly cleaning the forest patches. Due to this, there is a rapid increase in the temperature leading to global warming. Discuss. Children, forest serves as a carbon sink by absorbing atmospheric carbon dioxide during photosynthesis. Deforestation results in a decreased number of trees leading to accumulation of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere. Carbon dioxide in the atmosphere traps heat rays reflected by the earth which results in global warming. Let's move on to the activity. Collect pictures of various types of houses and paste them in your scrapbook. Write names of at least two places where these houses are found. So children, this is a very interesting activity which can be done in your scrapbook. You have to collect pictures of different types of houses and you have to write the names of the places where these houses are found. Let's move on to the next activity. Activity number two, house hunt. Find 10 lines related to houses in the word grid. So children, a word grid is being provided and you all have to find words which are related to house. Some of the words which can be found in this word grid are bungalow, flat, bedroom. Rest of the words you will try to find by yourself. In the end, children, I am providing you this worksheet for extra practice. So children, in this way, the explanation of this entire chapter is done. Hope you learned something new in today's class. If you like the video, do give a thumbs up. And if you have any doubt related to any topic from this chapter, please write the same in the comment section. I'll try to get back to you as soon as possible. All the best children.